Printable Science presents a 3D printed C-clamp. In today's video we're making a 3D printed uh, C or G-clamp. They're called a C-clamp uh, because they they look like a C and uh, are sometimes called a G-clamp because they also can look like a, a G. Uh, these are uh, typically what you can pick up at uh, the hardware store, although they're often uh, for uh, some applications a little bit overkill because they clamp with a great deal of pressure and also on top of that the weight itself of the uh, of the clamp can uh, can cause some problems i mean if you're i don't know how many of you have encountered this kind of situation but you put it on there like that and and the weight of the clamp itself is uh, too much for what you're trying to hold together. So, what's our solution to that? Well, we have a 3D printed, uh, 3D printed C-clamp. Now, it uh, is of course not going to be anywhere near as strong as uh, the metal clamp, but it's not intended to be strong, it's just intended to be a helpful uh, tool to assist you in putting together your 3D printed uh, projects. And it has, it, uh, there's no point in putting this uh, bar at the end. First of all, because you use that for giving yourself extra leverage when you're tightening it. And if you were to uh, put one of those on a plastic C-clamp, first of all, because the only way to really print that is in a vertical orientation, it would snap long before you could uh, uh, get uh, any kind of pressure out of it. And uh, secondly, that, that thing often gets in the way. So we just provided a little thumb screw, which also allows you to easily use one finger to tighten up on things like that. So it's pretty straightforward. You can just, you know, for instance, you could glue these two things together and uh, like that, just kind of tighten things up. And voila, have it hold until the glue is set. So, each one you print just consists of uh, three parts, like that. Now, C-clamps are classified according to their neck and their throat. So this has a two-inch neck and a three-inch throat. And you just take this, uh, uh, the thread off of the printer, insert it in there, screw it in, and you can see that uh, we've printed a, a sphere on the end, and we print the cap there, and that just snaps on. Well, Maybe we can use the clamp itself to make sure it's clamped on properly. And there, it snapped on. That gives you the advantage, of course, of having a swivel that has the advantages of giving you a swivel for attaching to uh, parts that are not perfectly square. So there we go. That's our project. But we just didn't leave it at that. As you can see, you can do all sorts of things. We've got clamps of all, well, a variety of sizes, not all sizes. We're just going to go into a little time lapse here while I assemble all the uh, clamps uh, that were printed. 
supporters of the channel are reminded that uh, you can get a hold of an STL file for a C clamp of just about any description, any throat, any neck, uh, any uh, diameter of uh, bolt. These clamps were printed in PLA with two bottom layers, three top layers, two perimeters and a Z layer height of uh, 0.2 and a nozzle of uh, what is it? Point, uh, Four or is it 0 0.04? Well, you know what I mean. Of course, you could print these uh, clamps in a different material and that may improve uh, the uh, strength of the clamp, but by how much, it's hard to say. Please let me know if you, uh, if you do any printing in uh, stronger materials and uh, how well it works out for you. As I say, these weren't designed for helping out in welding or any kind of uh, heavy use situation, but mainly for holding smaller parts uh, together. And there we have it. Full collection of clamps. For your pleasure. Is that the same as that? Yes, it is. Thanks for watching. And while this might not be the most exciting project we've ever presented. We hope that it's uh, going to provide uh, a helpful addition to your, uh, your toolbox of things that help you uh, put together your 3D printed projects. A link to the STL files you'll need to print any of these clamps is mentioned uh, in the video description below. And if you have any comments or questions about this project, please add them. If you've enjoyed this video, and you'd like to see more of the same or keep in touch with what we're doing, at this point, I think you know what you need to do. Thanks for watching, and feel free to visit us at our website at printablescience.com, where all the science that fits, we print. Mm -hmm.